So it's uh, 6 a.m. I'm off to Milton Keynes to meet my uncle because we're going to go to the uh, MS clinic to uh, see the kind of work they do. Let's do it. So we're off to my uncle's house now, Milton Keynes. Uh, it's Wednesday, the 25th of November. Um, so we, yeah, we're meeting him and I think we're getting a bus to the MS clinic um, to, to learn more about it really. I know, I know a few things about multiple sclerosis. I know it's a autoimmune disorder which attacks uh, different parts of your body. Um, makes you very fatigued. Uh, in some cases, uh, my uncle's included, it affects your eyes, it can make you blind. Um, it just weakens different parts of you and to my knowledge, we don't have a cure. Uh, we can only treat it, so we'll go see what kind of treatments he has. A um, little bit nervous, not gonna lie. Um, it's never nice facing uh, such a horrible thing, but he faces it every day, so I've just got to man up and see what's going on. So uh, I'm on the bus uh, with Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Chris. How you doing? And, oh God. Jane. Jane, hello, hello. Jane. Hello, Chris. Um, and we're off to the MS clinic. We're picking up, who's this now? Right, this is Jenny. Jenny, okay, and then we've got one more. Yeah, um, that's Ella. Ella, and em then. Empty bus today, because everybody's going on holiday, or is ill. <laughs> so. Well, you got me. We've got you. So, yeah. I'll be entertaining, yeah. it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Probably four miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, multiple sclerosis therapy centre. Oh, and the bus is leaving me. See, see you then, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So, hello, faces. Hello. 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 So, what I'd like you to explain is. Um, kind of was clearly, so layman's terms, what multiple sclerosis is. Right, MS, okay. Um, MS is damage to the myelin sheath. And the myelin sheath is the protection around the nerve endings on the spinal cord. Yeah. So that myelin sheath gets damaged in some way. Yeah. And depending on what the damage is, or the severity of that damage, depends on how that affects that person. Mm -hmm. uh, this causes um, either messages to the brain being totally blocked if the damage is quite severe or the messages being very slow in getting to the brain. Yeah. So when somebody with MS for example um, doesn't walk it's not because there's nothing physically wrong with their legs mm -hmm. um, or if they can't lift their arm to have a drink, there's nothing physically wrong with their arm. It's just that the message isn't getting to the brain to operate that. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's kind of... So that's of, why it affects you know, different parts, eyes, legs, arms, Exactly, it parts. depends where that damage is mm -hmm. um, on the myelin sheet. So that's kind of a very basic explanation yeah, and there are different types of MS as well mm -hmm. um, so you know why there is and why do people get MS we don't really know the answer to that. There's still no uh, no cause? No, no. Or cure? No, no. There is however lots of treatment? There's lots of therapies, there are treatments that uh, we offer lots of therapies here, our aim is to keep people um, to be as independent for as long as is possible. Yeah. Um, and some of the treatments are just very nice treatments for them to have, and some of them do actually slow down that progression of MS, which yeah. one of them is the hyperbaric oxygen therapy treatment. Yeah. Okay, so this is David. He's uh, he's worked at the MS clinic now for 30 years. 30 years yeah, and uh, he's just going to explain basically what this is. Basically, it's a pressure chamber whereby we increase the pressure in the chamber 
uh, based on diving because these originally were used as pressure chambers in the diving industry at one point. It's actually got a diving on it. Got a diving helmet diving on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we increased the pressure, and then the people breathe pure oxygen for an hour at pressure. And um, the idea is that by being at pressure, they absorb more oxygen into their bloodstream than they would do at normal pressure. And you see this work for people? I, when my wife first started coming, uh, I, we used to come and I used to have to help her into the car at first and she couldn't get in but when we were leaving she could get in the car on her own right, so there you now go. whether that is psychological or it does actually have some significance i don't know but it, yeah. it did seem to work for her for a long Probably. time it's good to see where the money goes as well you know well this i think this is very beneficial i still think it's beneficial i'm sure tanya who's in there now will probably tell you it's very beneficial yeah yeah, I mean, no, I agree, actually, I agree. Well, thank you very much for explaining that. Pleasure. Um, I hope that's enough for you. Yeah, it's a shame I didn't, didn't go in, but <laughs> I've got to do some more interviews. Maybe next time. It's, it's, it's an experience. So I did actually get offered to uh, go into the oxygen chamber um, to experience 100% oxygen, uh, but it's an hour and a half, and I haven't got that long to interview all these people, so... Not this time. Um, but that would have been cool. Apparently, um, I'd feel amazing afterwards and it would have healed me up. So, we have um, four electrodes. We're using a therapy called APS, which stands for Action Potential Simulation. And we have four electrodes placed on the body according to where the pain, fatigue, spasm, uh, rigidity, whatever it is we're dealing with for any given individual, we make up a, a treatment plan to target specific areas. So with Maggie, we've been treating for some time, we've been treating you with head therapy, haven't we Maggie? Yes. To help relieve and reduce the number of clusters that you get, which we've managed to do very successfully. Yeah. And you swear by it? Yes. This, is a good, this is a good treatment? This is a really good treatment. Right from the start, it helped my mobility and a number of other things. Your it's mobility improved dramatically, dramatically within the first six weeks. Yeah. Within hmm. yeah. So it's like just like a hard reset, basically. Yes. Almost. <laughs> yes. Interesting. Okay, thanks, Maggie. We'll see you a little bit later on. Right. <laughs> So I'm here uh, at the uh, MS gym where they've got, uh, you know, like special machines um, to help kind of like promote muscle growth. Um, what have we got? We've got this, this mad thing, the weight. Let's sit on it. Ready? <laughs> it's like a bucking bronco. <laughs> Should we turn it up? Full. So this could this helps your core apparently. Oh. Oh. Faster, faster, faster. <laughs> it's either hit or miss. Yeah. Wait, how does it's he... either road rage yeah. or you just go for the car. How do you avoid then by you put not you don't put more speed on the right or the left, you put more power. Ah, so that will mean oh, you're moving oh, out to the right. If oh, you put power on the right, move to the left. <laughs> but, or you can do cool. it the other way. And if the car's in your way on your right, you put power on your right yeah. to hit it. Yeah, that's more likely to know. Yeah, but that's, because, you know. Look at that final destination situation here. Yeah, I think yeah. Oh my god, now I've got a log truck in front yeah. of me. <laughs> this is cool, I like this. Yeah. So, um, 
the, the therapy centre, there are about 40, 41 therapy centres throughout the country. Mm -hmm. We are all run independently um, and they're all very different. Some are from a, a quarter cabin that are just part time and um, they offer help to um, people with all types of neurological conditions. But we only basically here deal with people with MS because we can't take on board any other right. people with other conditions. There's just not enough you know, slots available. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we all run very independently. We don't receive any NHS funding at all. The only thing we get from the NHS are referrals from GPs and neurologists. Um, we don't receive any funding from the local government either. So we need about 400,000 a year. Yeah. Um, and um, we do that by employing 53 volunteers. Many not, many, yeah, yeah. not many people are paid, um, just the professionals are paid. Um, and how do we get that money? Well, we organise our own fundraising events. We have a team of, of fundraisers yeah. um, that work voluntary and we apply to charitable trusts. Um, and these are grant giving organisations that will give money away for pieces of equipment, refurb, sure. that type of thing. Yeah. But they, they, they don't like to give money for salaries. Mm, yeah. um, but, you know, and that's what we need the money for. We need the money to pay our two MS specialist nurses. We need money to pay our physiotherapists. Because if we can't pay them, they won't work. And if they don't come in, then our members are not going to get the treatments that they, they desperately course, yeah. need. Yeah. Definitely one of the so salaries are not attractive, but they're very popular. You know, they they're very important. Yeah. Part of, of the makeup. Here. So the money that go that we all raise through this single will directly pay for professionals to yes. aid yes. MS. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Which I from the, the the people I've met, it yeah. seems like the best cause I can think yes. of, and with it being so close to my heart with my uncle, yeah. and him actually having them treatments today, it yes. makes me sure that people will. Right, so we're all finished at the MS clinic now, uh, just dropping everyone off back home, and then I think me and Kevin are going to sink a beer before <laughs> practice tonight. <laughs> so there we go, um, day at the MS clinic. Um, wasn't actually as like morbid as I thought it would be, it was actually really positive. Um, there's a lot of really, really good people there, and a lot of them are uh, volunteers as well. I found out 51 people volunteer at that one MS centre, and there are like 40 in the country. Um, so it's amazing work, and the money that we're going to be raising with this single that we're releasing um, is going directly to that centre. So everything that I've seen today. Uh, it will help. It will help that. It's uh, it's quite an amazing thing, really. I feel good. Uh, I feel positive. So good to see that he's got um, kind of a support network and therapies, and all of this money we're going to raise is uh, going to go towards that. It's not like it's going just just to MS. This money is going to the place I just was. So, is that good English? <laughs>